this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hello furniture friends, welcome or welcome back. This week I have a mismatched pair of secondhand IKEA nightstands that need a little TLC and I'm going to be redesigning these with a fun pop of color and a new texture design with some of IKEA's Rodaby trays. This white Ikea Hemnes nightstand is actually out of my son Ryan's bedroom. We made over his room in my last video and this nightstand didn't make the cut. And this black one is actually a newer model of the same nightstand that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace for just $10. These two aren't exactly the same. You can definitely see where some sort of cost saving manufacturing decisions have been made along the way. They're slightly different sizes. The black one is actually solid pine and the white lacquered table is mostly fiberboard, but they're close enough. And once I'm done upcycling them and they're sitting on either side of a bed, no one will be the wiser. I started by removing the knobs and giving these a good clean. I'm using some simple green on these and to work off these stickers on the side, I just soaked them in a whole bunch of the cleaner and let that sit for a few minutes. And then I was able to scrape them off relatively easily with my putty knife. Once I had all of the grime off, I went back with some clean water to remove any soap residue. There were just a few blemishes on the top of the black table, so I grabbed some Elmer's natural wood filler to fill in those and left everything to dry while I figure out if my new handles are going to fit on the tops of these drawers without any extra work. Luckily, I think I'm going to be okay. Next up is sanding, of course. Ikea furniture is pretty notoriously hard to paint because of the magical slick finish that they put on all of their stuff. So it's important for me to rough this up enough to get a good bond with my primer and paint. I want to add some detail to these drawers and I'm going to do that with these placemats or trays that are also from Ikea. They're very similar to a pole wrap that everyone but me seems to have access to at Home Depot or Lowe's. At my stores, it's a special order item and the cheapest size is still about $100 a roll. So these mats are going to be a way better solution for me. I used a foam brush to get a thick layer of wood glue onto the drawer front and then I lined up the top and the side edges and used some wood scraps and clamps to hold everything down while that glue dried.
On my second drawer, I decided to cut off the excess length before gluing it down. And all I did was just cut the linen fabric that's holding all of these slats together with a box cutter. To get the excess height off of these after they dried and I unclamped them all, I broke out my Dremel Multimax tool with a flush cut blade. Once I had everything trimmed up, I put some 80 grit sandpaper on my sander and sanded everything flush. Then I decided to remove all of the drawer slides just to keep them from getting glooped up with paint. I definitely needed to prime these, so I used my tried and true Bin Shellac Base Primer and I just rolled on a few coats with a four inch microfiber roller. And you could totally leave this bamboo natural on the fronts. I think it's gorgeous as it is, but I wanted these to be a solid paint color, so I'm priming. Once my primer was dry, I sanded any roller texture smooth with some 400 grit sandpaper. Before we get into paint, let me tell you a little bit more about Skillshare. Skillshare can help you make this year a year of learning, growth, and connection through your creativity. If you have a specific skill that you're trying to learn, then Skillshare is the perfect place to start. They have got classes that will match your goals and interests on everything from photography, video editing, interior design, woodworking, and so much more. I have always just flown by the seat of my pants with this business, and I really want to start being more intentional with building my career this year. So I've been working through the class, Creating Your Dream Career by Holly Coley Murchison and mapping out where I want to take this channel and how I'm going to go about doing that. Skillshare is completely ad-free, so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring your new skills. 
and they launch fresh premium classes each week. So there is always something new to discover. Members get unlimited access to learning with classes that you can always work through at your own pace. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description box of this video will get a one month free trial to Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. I want to go bright with these guys. So I'm using Rich Navy by House and Canvas and I'm going to spray it with my Wagner Flexio 590 electric sprayer. This paint is super thick, so I did add some water to it and mix it up until I had sort of a table cream consistency. And then I strained it into the hopper. I usually skip straining because I'm a bit of a paint rebel, but for some reason I decided that I needed to strain this time. Also decided that I wanted to paint the inside of these drawers which is another thing that I don't do too often but it seemed to be the easiest way to make them all match and cover up any old stains that I wasn't able to get rid of with cleaning. I sprayed my first coat of paint upside down to get around all of the legs and then I flipped the tables the right way up and sprayed another two coats. This paint dries pretty fast so I usually wait about an hour between coats and I always keep the sprayer loaded up until I'm all done with the paint before I bother cleaning it all out. After rinsing out the sprayer and giving my last coat of paint a few additional hours to dry, I mixed up a little Varathane water-based polyurethane with a tiny dollop of paint to tint it. I did mix this together with a whisk, but you don't ever want to actually whisk or shake poly because you'll end up with a ton of tiny bubbles in your finish. I just used the whisk here to gently incorporate the color into the poly and then I sprayed two coats with a super fine sand in between just to keep it extra smooth. Once that was dry, I brought these beauties inside and reattached all of the drawer hardware. And despite my checking the clearance on these poles before I started, they mysteriously don't fit now on just one drawer. So instead of messing with this, I'm just going to go ahead and switch gears and go with these silver handles from Home Depot instead. I 
think these are perfect to go back into a kid's room or even a coastal themed grown up room. I'm loving this blue right now and have plans to use it again very soon. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this Ikea hack furniture flip with me. Make sure to leave me a comment and subscribe before you go and I will catch you all next time. Thank you.